Hi, I hope this helps you figure out what was going on with this problem. First, you have your original problem, log 2 to the x power plus 3 log 2 to the y power minus two, 4 log 2 to the z power. Now, I'm assuming that this is the natural log or log base 10 or something like that and not log base 2 to the x based on how you wrote it. So when it comes to problems like this, the first thing you have to look at is the exponent. It's still the same rule that you're using order of operations, which means you look at the parentheses, the exponents, the radicals, multiplication, division, addition, and then subtraction. So in this case, the first, I don't see any parentheses, but I do see exponents. So first thing you have to look at is what the exponent rule is. So the log power rule states that if you have log, bit, log to a power, you put that power right here in front. Now, if we look at this particular problem, that would change it right here, right here, and it also affects it right here. So we would start getting our problem to look like x log 2 plus 3y log 2 minus 4z log 2. Now that we have this, I hope you can see that we have some matching parts. Log 2 is the same in all of these pieces. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate that from that x, 3y, and negative 4x. So we're going to end up with x, start typing now, plus 3y minus 4x. And all I'm doing is I am factoring log base 2. And again, that log base 2 is here, and it would be distributed to go in the reverse direction to all these three to get up there. I hope this helps. Oh, where's the stuff?